Hey Siri, how the fuck do you spell croquet, man? Okay, I found this on the web for how the fuck do you spell croquet, man. Check it out. <laughs> I got Siri to come. Titty fucking. Capital T I T T Y space. Capital F U C K I N G. I like to fuck King Cobra's dick. Oh, Check it out. you're a naughty bitch. Why the fuck do the trolls want to suck King Cobra's butt crack? Check it out. Why the fuck King Cobra's trolls or a jealous cop sucking losers with no lives? And the only pussy they get it from their mom. Check it out. <laughs> hey Siri. Why do you farts smell? Here's an answer from help.com spelling gas. It's usually the result of bacterial fermentation of food stool matter in the colon. Dr. Chuaya explains. Oh, why the fuck do the trolls like to suck horse locks? <laughs> Oh, 
Forest. Uh, 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 fucking wild ass forest. Uh, oh god, yeah, fucking wild ass forest. <laughs> hey yo, I bust grumpies like I bust caps. When I get tired, I take a fucking nap. Cause you never know the hap when I'm busting butt cheek claps from my butt flaps. Yo, these wet ass farts, wet ass sharks, uh, yeah. We busting mad wet ass farts. I bust grumpies like I bust straps. When I get tired, I fucking take naps, uh. You fucking with some wet ass farts, uh. Some nasty ass farts, uh. Yo, these wet ass motherfucking farts, uh. They clear a fucking room, uh. Wet ass farts, uh. Yeah, make those fucking booty cheeks clap. When I get tired, I take a fucking nap, uh. Wet ass farts, I got my motherfucking book smarts. We're talking wet ass sharks. Nasty wet ass farts, uh. Wet ass motherfucking farts, uh. I slap my ass cause I slap farts out of my hole and that's no bull. Here, homie, pull my finger. Wet ass farts. Yo, I got wet ass farts. Motherfuckers already know I got wet ass farts. Yo, hanging out with Cardi B, slamming a bottle of Bacardi. Yes, sir, we fucking it from her head to her hips to her toes like nobody knows. And we both got farts coming out of our buttholes Cause we're having awesome consensual sex We're eating Taco Bell That shit gave us the gas coming out of our ass Wet ass farts, uh Wet ass motherfucking farts, uh Wet ass farts, wet ass sharks, uh Yo, I bust a cap when I take a nap Like I bust a grumpy Just taking a big fat dump Dump, 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 Humpty Dumpty, forget the umpty, I just took a dump, yo, I took a dump with this wet ass fart, uh, wet ass motherfucking fart, yo, we dealing with some wet ass motherfucking farts, nasty sharks, wet ass motherfucking farts, wet ass motherfucking farts. Yo, I be chillin' with Cardi B, fucking her titties, her ass, and her pussy. Slamming a bottle of Bacardi. We slammed some talking bell. Now we got farts coming out of our tushies. Got the wet ass farts. I try not to shit the bed and bust my load from behind. Wet ass farts. Yo, we fucking with some wet ass farts, huh? Some fucking wet ass farts. I think I might have diarrhea with these wet ass farts. Uh, wet ass motherfucking farts. Uh, wet ass motherfucking farts. Yo, fucking Cardi B with a bottle of Bacardi chilling like a villain. Killing the air with her steak, we don't care. Let her loose like a goose that's been cooked too long. Yo, the song's already too long, it's already gone, but I don't give a fuck, cause we fucking with some wet ass farts. Yo, we fucking with some wet ass motherfucking farts, huh? Wet ass motherfucking farts, huh? Yo, the farts are smelling so bad, it's making up people mad. This shit be for the coronavirus. Yo, Cardi B's fun to kiss and lick. Right quick, how you're sucking my dick. Try not to bust a fart. Yo, cause that's rude as shit. You got some girl sucking your dick. The least you could do is hold your farts in, you fucking pig. Fuck off. Wet ass farts, huh? Yo, we got the wet ass motherfucking farts. Wet ass motherfucking farts. You fucking with some wet ass motherfucking farts, huh? Wet ass motherfucking sharks, huh? Nasty ass wet ass motherfucking farts, huh? Wet ass motherfucking farts. Smoking blunts, drinking beers, fucking of age cunts. Whoa! I said two smoking hot of age gallows go around the old cemetery, round the old cemetery. Whoa! Two smoking hot of age gallows go around the old cemetery, round the old cemetery, and a '59 Cadillac curse driving it. Whoa! I said two smoking hot of age gallows go around the old cemetery. Whoa! Guess who's back? Back again. King Cobra's back. Fuck the trolls. 
Guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back, back in black, back in black, back in black, burning out, fuck the trolls, 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 burning out, the fans are where it's at, burning out, fuck the trolls, the fans are where it's at, motherfucker. Y'all yeah, drinking a monster, cause the fucking trolls are pissed off. I unleashed the beast, the fucking mom's nasty, she got a yeast infection. Pissed off, I won't be the new stepdad, they got rejection. Man, if they're the infection on the cure, it's facetious. Yo, fuck the trolls, King Cobra's back. Dressed in black. These trolls is whack, I'm coming on like a motherfucking heart attack. Yo, the trolls are just mad, they're jealous of my rebellious spirit, cause I'm rad. Pissed off cause they don't have a dad. Why he's so fucking sad? I got 40,000 subscribers, so suck it. Fuck my nuts hard or lick my ass crack. Nice and soft and wet, cause Cobra's set for life when I stick these fucking trolls. Fuck him up with a knife! But King Cobra's here to stir up some controversy while I wait patiently for some cisgendered alive pussy that's of age. Cobra out of the cage when I hit the stage. Cause YouTube is my stage and it feels so empty without King Cobra B. I said we need some motherfucking controversy. Not only do I like my women to be cisgendered of age and consenting, but also alive when I strive, these trolls are jealous cause I thrive on YouTube. Mad cause the only boob they ever touched was their mom when they were breastfeeding. Busting a nut when I'm seeding all over their mom's face is a disgrace. Fuck the trolls, I'm starting to wonder if the trolls were dropped on their head. Embarrassed cause he's still fucking wet the bed. Fuck it, enough said. Cut him with a knife and watch him bled. Cause the world is so fucking dead. Yo, King Cobra's back, you stupid ass fucker. Yo, these haters is just acting sour. They're jealous of my demonic power. When I devour this mic, it's like, God damn, wait a second. They try to rap and it's cringe. Motherfuckers are just mad because they got their dick stuck in the door hinge. The trolls try to rap and it sounds cringe. They got a fucking cigarette singe on their eyeball. Jealous because I'm one bad Neanderthal, y'all. Fuck it, King Cobra's back in black. Yeah. These haters is acting sour, they suck on them lemons when they should have been sucking on moms. Hating cause Cobra's got the baddest motherfucking rhymes, making them nickels and dimes. Yo, jealous of my King Cobra crown, but you know, I already know how I get down with the royal when I get drunk. You trolls ain't nothing but shit talking wannabe punks. Yo, but fuck it, these trolls try to rap and it sounds whack. They gotta get some help for the crack addiction cause they won't stop licking mine. When I little let me wind the track. Little let me wind the track cause I'm back in black. Come with these fucking haters like a heart attack. Can't handle how I stack, the raps is mad whack. Don't give a fuck if I curse when I'm perverse. See these fucking haters in the back of my 59 Cadillac and loader superior hearse. They're just mad cause their mom's on the rag and they're stealing drug money out of her purse. Don't give a fuck if I'm perverse when I curse, when I curse these motherfuckers. Cause King Cobra's hexing and his raps are perplexing. We need some motherfucking controversy while I'm waiting patiently for that sister to lie above age pussy. YouTube would be so empty without King Cobra B. I said this looks like a motherfucking job for me. These King Cobra trolls are nothing but shit talking pussies. We need some motherfucking controversies. It would be so empty without King Cobra B. Consenting when I'm bending these trolls over with a chainsaw. Cause my raps go raw. Going ham on a chomo chainsaw massacre. When I'm here to stir up blood and gore. Cobra to the settle the score. Plus the trolls calling me a sick fuck. They can suck my dick right quick when I'm slick. My raps go raw. They get mad. Cause they got to see their mom's bra. Bro. Fuck the trolls, the fans are where it's at. Fuck the trolls, the fans are where it's at. Fuck the shit talking trolls, you ain't nothing but pussies, little keyboard wussies, King Cobra's a shit. I don't give a fuck if I cause controversy, my trolls need a life more than I need to get some of age pussy, it's not any need to want, and look at me taunt my fame, these trolls lives are nothing but a shame, they can't handle my motherfucking game, cause I fuck their mom, cause my raps are bomb when I'm blowing a mind and busting a nut, cause your fucking nasty ass mom's nothing but a slut, when I fucking cut, these trolls will spill their guts, leave them in the ditches, cause they're nothing but shit talking bitches, yo these trolls ain't nothing but shit talking pussies, little keyboard wussies, they try to rap and it sounds lame, but I'm already four steps ahead of this fucking game. When I'm dead, people are gonna remember my name, but no one will remember yours. These fucking stupid trolls try to act like your chores, but you're nothing but clout chasing wannabe whores. Yo, I make that money because people think my jokes are funny. I'm leaving them in stitches while you're getting stitches from. 
staffs in the hospital while I'm leaving my fans with laughs. Cause now I'm taking baths in these trolls' tears cause they're fears cause they wish they could be as cool as me but they'll never do it. Only I can get more pussy than they can and they can't stand it. Causing that controversy, these trolls are nothing but shit talking pussies. YouTube would feel so empty without King Cobra B. Cause YouTube would be empty without gothic King Cobra B. King Cobra's a badass YouTuber, King Cobra rocks, these trolls jizz in their socks. That's fucking disgusting. Fuck the trolls, the fans are where it's at. Fuck the trolls, the fans are where it's at. Trolls can suck King Cobra's cock and eat his ass a lot while I fart in their mouth. So the trolls are disgusting losers with no life. Wait a minute, this track just rewind, hold up, spark up another blunt. Cause these trolls are nothing but shit talking cunts. Whoa. I live rent free in these shit talking wussies. <coughs> Heads. Drinking beers and smoking cigarettes like I smoke trolls. King Cobra's back. Tell the homies. That's what's up to the fans. Fuck the trolls. King Cobra's back. King Cobra's back. King Cobra's back. Back in black. Back in black. Yeah. Fuck the trolls. Trolls. Fuck the trolls. Trolls. The fans are where it's at. 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 The fans are where it's at. 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 Yeah. Fuck the trolls. Spark that blunt up. Yo. I smoke trolls like a smoke blunt. Your moms are nothing but nasty cunts. Yo, hail King Cobra. Boo yeah, that's what's up. These fucking trolls are fucking pelican fuckers. That's fucking disgusting. Hail King Cobra, I don't give a fuck if I cause controversy. You fuckers can kiss my hairy white autistic tushy. Kiss my tushy. Yo, you trolls are nothing but shit talking pussies, and I rule this motherfucker. I'm out, motherfucker. Peace out. Suck Cobra's dick, fucking trolls. Fans are where it's at. Yeah! Doing theater smokes the biggest weed in the galaxy. <laughs> the gravity force is strong with this bomb. Ugh, Darth Vader, are you in here taking a shit? Yes, and we're up with him. The force is strong with this one. Oh, oh god, it smells like the dark side of the force. Total fucking poodle, if you ask me. Yes, Emperor Palpatine, it smells horrible. I must wipe the dark side of my butt crack. Otherwise, the smell will be trapped in my sink forever. Oh, that would be the worst kind of mud butt ever, Lord Vader. Yes, Emperor Palpatine. Well, good, good. Emperor Palpatine has to take his shit too, and now they call me Emperor Palpatine. You know what I'm saying, Lord Vader? <laughs> you know, Emperor Palpatine really likes his prunes. His prunes, Lord Vader. Prunes, they help regulate my colon. <laughs> My proctologist says it's good for my prostate, Lord Vader. <laughs> uh, oh god, it smells worse than mine. Yes. Yes, Vader, give in to your shit. Squeeze it out with anger and explode the toilet with nasty dark side fumes. <laughs> uh, uh, oh god. The smell of your shit and my shit is really stinking up the shit. Uh, oh, burr. Yes, Emperor Palpatine. It smells like poodoo. <laughs> uh, I must have had a bad space burrito. <laughs> uh, it's making it harder to breathe. Now I must wipe the dark side of my butt crack and burnt ass. <laughs> Oh, Vita, I would not spark up a lightsaber in this bathroom after you're done shitting because you might cause an explosion bigger than the one I foresee happening to the Death Star. Oh, wait, I ruined the video. Shit. <laughs> you will spoil it for everyone, asshole. <laughs> Oh, well, the only asshole I see is mine pooping in the toilet, Lord Vader. <laughs> Yes, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Hashtag, not my Star Wars. <laughs> I like, what the fuck is this 
nasty shit, Lord the Vader. This is some nasty, nasty shit, Lord the Vader. It's beyond nasty. Ugh. We thought the Jar Jar Binks was fucking annoying. Ugh. Must have been a bad space burrito on my end. Oh, it smells horrible. It smells worse than the dark side of the force. Oh. I swear to God, if I have to force lightning somebody while I'm on this shitter, I'm going to be fucking pissed. I wouldn't do that like you said. It might cause an explosion. Shocking the smell, isn't it? I swear to God. I don't want to have to force lightning somebody when I'm trying to take a shit. It's most inconvenient, Lord Vader. <laughs> I agree, Emperor Palpatine. Right now it's Emperor Palpatine because I'm taking a poop, Lord Vader. <laughs> but holy crap, Baby Yoda is like the worst. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, what the hell is that shit? <laughs> Oh, what the hell is this shit? Veda, <laughs> you okay? I cannot breathe. The smell of dark side poopy fumes is waffling through the air. I know, it's making me gag. Even I'm repulsed. <laughs> Veda, what the hell was in that burrito? Like I said, it was a bad space burrito. Okay, what the hell smells like shit? Huh? God fucking damn it, Lord Vader, are you entertaining this shit again? Oh God, who invited him? Oh crap. Yes, Mickey Mouse, we are taking a shit in here. We're using the company bathroom. I'm sorry, it's uh... Did I fucking ask if you want a company bathroom time? Huh? You're literally wasting my time with this shit. I'm taking off company time for this shit. <laughs> You wanna talk about shit hitting the fan? Now I gotta take a crap, huh? Now I'll tell you what! Well, how do you like them apples? Now, Emperor Palpatine, uh, Lord Vader Harper, are getting into a shitting contest with Mickey Mouse. That's Mr. Mickey Mouse to you, huh? Now I'll tell you what! The park food goes right through me anymore, huh? <laughs> Although, for legality reasons, just bad tapes might have to beep out the words Mickey Mouse, huh? <laughs> Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Vader, could you literally use the force to uh, whip us up? Those are bottles of Febreze over there. This shit's getting heavy, man. Yes, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> oh, the Febreze isn't even making a dent. Between my shit and... Mickey Mouse's shit and Lord Vader's shit. That's some heavy... Uh... How do you like that shit, huh? The between all of our shit, we're making an Emperor Palpatine gag, huh? I'm not trying to be funny, goddammit, but you shouldn't force it out. You might... You might hurt yourself, huh? Oh, I'm doing more than gagging. I'm practically vomiting. This smells worse than the dark side of the force. <laughs> I must say, I'm getting notions from the fumes. Well, cut the crap and get back to work, huh? You two fucking assholes aren't getting sick pay for this crap. Huh? You see that? You see that? Huh? I don't know how to flush this shit. I'll make someone else flush it and wipe my ass, because I'm Mickey Mouse, goddammit, huh? And you know what else I can do, huh? Mickey Mouse can drink on the job, huh? I tell you what, Mickey Mouse likes his Mickeys, huh? <laughs> Ooh, I thought me and Vader had problems. <laughs> oh, oh, this shit. Oh, don't you judge Mickey Mouse, huh? God fucking damn it. You have no idea what the kind of crap this has been having to put up with over the last couple of fucking weeks. <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. The fucking hiring department can't get it right. How hard is it to do a fucking background track, god damn it, huh? Cause goddammit, Disney's supposed to be a safe place for kids, huh? The PR's been up my ass with this shit. I'm fucking losing billions. So the Star Wars Mandalorian plus crap doesn't make me any fucking money. Mickey's fucked, you hear me, huh? 
12 hug. It's a bullshit, I tell you. Oh, crap. Well, that's just fucking great, huh? Mickey Mouse shit his fucking pants. Now I'm really in this shit. God fucking damn it. I have to go fucking wipe my ass and get my fucking pants to change this fucking bullshit. Oh, gross. What the fuck was in that food? Huh? Well, now Mickey Mouse has to wash the docks out of his butt crack. Huh? I'm fucking taking my mickeys with me. Some bullshit, huh? You fucking assholes, bro. I take all day in the goddamn bathroom, huh? We got shit to do. Ha ha! I got shit to do. I'm not doing your mom. <laughs> no, but seriously, let's get this shit done already. <sighs> Not that Lord Vader is done taking his shit and washing his hands. I'm going to step out of the bathroom and spark this bong again. <laughs> yes, I like that Skywalker OG Kush. This is some really stinky shit. <sighs> I cannot believe I'm still on the toilet taking a shit. What kind of predicament is this? <laughs> Maybe I ate too many prunes. Or perhaps not enough prunes. Oh shit, I forget which one. <laughs> I feel bad for Emperor Palpatine. He has the wicked shit. <laughs> Ooh. I can hear it in the bathroom. But real quickly, I'm going to rip this shit. <sighs> Thank you. 
Welcome to the King Cobra Comedy Album. I'll be doing stand-up. This is the uh, second half of the album. You get 20 minutes down and at least a good solid 40 plus on the second half of it. So there you go. Like, what's the deal with Wi-Fi? You know why they call it Wi-Fi? Because when it's down, you're just like, why? And like, what's the deal with hospital food? Have you seen this? No, I'm not saying all hospitals have crappy food, but come on. 50 bucks for a cup of shitty ass pudding 
Get the fuck out of here. Oh, look at that. My fucking health insurance doesn't cover the price of shitty overpriced hospital food. Motherfucker. So, like, when you can't afford the overpriced hospital food, you're stuck going to a vending machine. And what's the fuck up with these vending machines? Are they you fucking kidding me? These things are a fucking pain in the ass. You're sitting there looking at it going, huh, what do I want? Oh, look at that. B4 says it's got Snickers. Sweet, I want a Snickers bar. Oh, what does it take? You take quarters and dollars. All right, how much for that bar? A dollar seventy-five. Man, candy's getting expensive. You put in the seventy-five cents, and you sit there and you stick the dollar bill on it. <laughs> and spits the dollar back out. You're like motherfucker. And you gotta like towel dry it against the corner of the machine, like. Shh. Kind of give it a halfway fold and then like straighten it back out. And like five or fucking six tries later, hey, look, it finally takes your fucking dollar. And then son of a bitch, the Snickers gets stuck in the fucking vending machine. The little swirly thing just kind of stops halfway through and you start having a fucking sugar withdrawal attack. Like, give me my fucking Snickers, motherfucker. And someone comes out, sir, quit shaking the machine. Fuck you, I want my dollar seventy-five back. This machine ripped me off. I think I just wrote Snickers next commercial. <laughs> You know, the next asshole who gets the Snickers is gonna get two instead of one. He's gonna be like, hot damn, it's my lucky day. Yeah, screw you. You know what kills me about soda pop machines? They don't tell you they're out of your soda pop choice until you push the fucking button. Unless you got like the little red light. Most people don't know about that. There's a little red light next to uh, the uh, flavor that you want. And if it's on, that usually means it's out. So that's how they let you know, but most people are like, they don't know that. They push the button, sorry, out of that flavor. Well, motherfucker, push the next button. Sorry, out of that one. You get down to the Sprite. It's like, this doesn't have any sugar and no caffeine. What's the point of it? Someone needs to restock this shit. Nothing against Sprite, because Sprite is great for hangovers. Yes. And nothing beats the original Sprite Tropical Remix from back in the early 2000s. That shit was my jam, man. Oh, that takes me back. Getting guitar lessons, and then... Going up to the vending machine and be like, Sprite Tropical Remix? Yes, please. Crack that bitch open. Oh, it's like liquid Skittles. At some point, you're just like, fuck it. I'll go to a loafing jug and get the Snickers and the soda pot myself. I don't got time for this shit. Fucking gas is so expensive. But we'll get on that in part two of the stand-up. I'll tell you what. Like the only new Ford Fecal. Are you tired of shitty drivers and shitty gas prices? Well, this one-ton car pickup hybrid will get you from point A to point B. We're not only fecal friendly, we're eco friendly. Grab a Ford fecal. Like shit, you're sick and tired of shitty gas prices? How about a fucking car where you shit in the gas tank? You're like two, three hundred miles to the poop. Ridiculous. And if you fart in the gas tank, goddammit, you'll get an extra two hundred miles per fart. That'd be some shit, wouldn't it? Do you need to get truck stuff done? Oh, grab a Ford Fecal. This one-ton car hybrid will tow your shit. Grab a Ford Fecal. Now, gas prices are fucking ridiculous, but we'll get back to that. I tell you what, no respect. The only blowjob I can get is when I do blow. Yeah, if I want to get my dick wet, I'll take a shower. I'm going to say, come on down to Wyoming if you want a blowjob. The wind sucks and Nebraska blows. If you drink milk can moonshine, you might be from Wyoming. Yeah, I know that you might be from Wyoming is a parody of uh, Jeff Foxworthy's You Might Be a Redneck. I got a variant of both of those. And it's called, You Might Be a Goth. You might be a goth if you dress in all black. You might be a goth if you smoke cigarettes in a cemetery and drink absinthe and read Edgar Allan Poe. And who says goths can't have a sense of humor? You might be a goth if people think you're creepy. You might be a goth if you party with Satan. You might be a goth if... You smoke formaldehyde on top of your cigarettes. You might be a goth if you get depressed. And then goths are like crap on emos for getting all emotional and shit. And it's like, dude, we all experience emotions. What the fuck's your deal? You might be a goth if you have a pet crow or raven. You might be a goth if you have an all black cat or an all black dog. If all of your pets are all black, you definitely might be a goth. You might be a cynical goth if you're judging 
everybody else for going to Spencer's to buy a cradle of filth or Ozzy Osbourne shirt because fucking clothing stores that sell goss shit online are like three to four hundred fucking dollars and it's overpriced and you can honestly make that shit yourself for a fraction of the cost. You might be a goth if you buy dog collars from Spencer's. And what the fuck's up with Hot Topic and Spencer's? It's not like it used to be, you know, all dingy, dark, depressing, and goth. Now it's just like, what the fuck is this crap? And did they get rid of the trip pants, man? Like, am I tripping, or did, did they just get rid of trip pants? This is some bullshit. You might be a goth if you wear trip pants. And good luck trying to get a claw ring from Spencer's when they're in stock, man. I tell you what. It's impressions, I got your voice impressions. Hey, yo, boo boo, how's about you go fuck yourself? Yogi, that's not very nice. I just want a fucking picnic basket, boo boo! Smarter than the average fucking bear, yeah. Hey, yo, boo boo! Oh, Yogi Bear's got a fucking potty mouth! That Mr. Ranger, sir, he's being a royal cunt, yeah. Always preventing me from getting my picnic baskets! That son of a bitch is getting on my nerves, but I am smarter than the average fucking bear. Let's just say this, boo-boo. I can make the ranger's job very unbearable. Mr. Ranger, sir. Yogi, what the hell are you doing? Mr. Ranger, sir, you caught me in a predicament. Yogi, stop stealing picnic baskets. Mr. Ranger, sir, you can eat a bag of shit. Yogi, I'm getting tired of your potty mouth. Mr. Ranger, sir, go fuck yourself. Nee. Yogi, knock it off. My picnic basket. Sounds like Yogi needs picnic baskets anonymous. You heard about this other charity? Yeah, this other charity. I uh, tell you what, this other charity is called the Go Fuck Yourself Foundation. And what the Go Fuck Yourself Foundation does is they prevent chronic masturbation and farting in the shower. Upon donating to the Go Fuck Yourself Foundation, you can go fuck yourself. Do it too much and give our charity a call. And what's the deal with farting in the shower? Like, this shit's ridiculous. You're standing there taking a goddamn shower, letting the hot water run all over your body. Washing your face, your feet, your legs, your butt. And speaking of butts, you got that hot water running down your butt crack, right straight down your ass crack, right over your goddamn asshole. And you let one go, a nice and wet shower farts. <laughs> Luckily you didn't shit yourself in the shower, because that would have been ten times worse, but give it about two minutes and the steam from the shower will literally carry your ass gas, and you will gas yourself out in the shower. That shit is gnarly, dude. Uh, you might be a goth if you piss off your parents. Marvin the Martian, where's the kaboom? Well, I kaboomed in my gas tank because Marvin the Martian has it in the new Ford Fecal. It's excellent on gas mileage. I got tired of being a shithead and polluting the environment. So I grabbed a Ford Fecal. And you always got these assholes who are talking cars like Fords are pieces of shit. Now nah, Dodges are pieces of shit. Now nah, uh, Chevys are pieces of shit. And it's just like, well, now nah, if everyone had a car that ran on shit, they'd all be pieces of shit, literally. The Chevy Shooter, the Dodge Heavy Duty. Okay, that one's already taken, so we'll just call it the Dodge Duty. The Toyota Turd, it's just a Prius with a giant ass on the back of the end of it. They're just trying way too hard with that one, people. So, like, how do you like your Ford Fecal? Well, I'd have to say it's tough as shit, and it gets great gas mileage. It's eco-friendly and fecal-friendly. The GMC Crapper. You know what happened when the Cobras got pissed at their job? They went on a union strike. You know what you call a pig who's sick with whining issues? Swine flu. Uh, COVID-19, at least we know she's old enough. Uh, fuck sickos. And fuck the trolls too, man. But farting in the shower is not nearly as bad as farting while you're in your bed trying to sleep. They call that making a hot pocket. A little hot air balloon. And that's a little juicy air biscuit balloon. Like you're sitting there ripping ass next to your girlfriend while she's cuddled up with you underneath the goddamn bed. And you're like dead asleep. You wake up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, you take a piss, and then you forget to put the seat back down, and then you sit there, crawl back into bed, continue farting, 
long story short, your girlfriend wakes up, lifts up the covers, and nearly gags on the smell of it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this asshole? Oh, God, it smells horrible. Walking out of bed like, dude. And then she goes on to turn on the bathroom lights. And she's all squinting. She can't fucking see. Like, eh. She literally hears her other half rip a huge ass fart in their sleep. And she's just like, oh, fucking disgusting. She makes her way over to the toilet and dunks her pussy in the cold toilet water. And now she's wide awake. You fucking asshole. Would it kill you to close the fucking toilet lid? And he replies, would it kill you to look next time? So what does a crazy heterosexual wear when it gets cold? Well, they wear a straight jacket. Where do gangster cobras live? They live in the hood. Okay, cobra, watch it. What do cobras wear when it gets cold outside? They like to wear hoodies. And speaking of hoodies, what's an artist's favorite part about wearing a hooded sweatshirt? I heard it was the drawstrings. You know what the pencil and the paper said when they got into a Wild West shootout? Draw, motherfucker. So who's Doc Holliday's favorite Hanna-Barbera character? I heard it was Huckleberry Hound. You know what uh, people who do drugs and people who are into bondage have in common? Whippets. <laughs> Righteous man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sage, do you hear about the shitty hockey players who turned out to be horses? Yeah, the only way they could play is if they used horse puckies. So what do you say to an angry bag of Doritos? What's with the chip on your shoulder? What do you call a donkey that drinks too much fucking whiskey? Well, you call them a drunk jackass. Do you hear about the cows who became their own entrepreneurs. They started a moving company. Yeah, they had competitors. They were competing with the alpacas. And uh, the alpacas had a slogan, alpaca up your stuff for a fair price. The cow slogan was, let us help you move. Yeah, did you hear about the piece of shit who got their own business? They called them a entrepreneur. Did you hear about the cow who opened up a pizzeria? Yeah, they specialized in calzones. So what do you call a bell tower that's on a really high cliff? A steep all. Yeah, and the bell inside that tower? Talk about a real cliffhanger. So what's a sex addict's favorite soda pop? I heard it was Mount and Dew. <laughs> what's a skeleton's favorite way to watch porn? I heard it was the Bone Channel, and when they were watching it, they got a boner. What did the ass say to the toilet? Relax, I'm just giving you shit. This next joke is so bad, you're gonna cringe when you hear it. What kind of doll likes to grill out during the summertime? I heard it was a barbecue doll. Cause that's Barbie for you in 2022. She don't need a man to cook up her burgers, and her burgers are beyond beef. They're as fake as her fucking plastic. Beyond beef, it's beyond disgusting. That's how you know vegans want to try meat, or they secretly miss it. Does the bacon still taste as good as I remember? I hear the sizzle. Ooh, I'm so bad. I want a piece. Oh, yeah. Oh, you dirty bitch. Fry up that bacon. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, you're making my vegan blood clog. Oh, oh, you fucking bastard. Fly up that bacon. Oh, oh, you dirty pan, you dirty pan bitch. Oh, fuck, yeah. Fly up that bacon. Oh, oh, yeah. Did you hear about the uh, restaurant that served barbecue and steaks, but they also infused it with weed? Yeah, they call it the Steaks Are High Barbecue Restaurant and Grill. What do you call a cow that goes skydiving without a parachute? Ground beef. Well, they also call them flat steaks, too, but hey. Talk about a smash burger, am I right? What kind of meat did Lady Gaga use to make her dress? Well, goddammit, I heard it was skirt steak. Skirt! Why the hell is it called a gynecologist, ladies? Guys don't have vaginas. 
Cobra, you can't say that in 2022. How dare you, you bastard. What do you call a butt that eats too much hot sauce and treats people like shit? Well, you call that a flaming asshole. What's a walking stick's favorite drug of choice? I heard it was cocaine. What's a dog and a cat's favorite musical instrument? I heard it was a trumpet. What's a crazy person's favorite way to travel? I heard it was by a motorcycle. What do you call a mythical creature that's really fucked up and breathes fire? I call it a dragon. What kind of fish gets paid to clean? I heard it was a mermaid. What do you call a female storm that wipes out everything? A hurricane. What do you call gas that goes the distance? A fart. And the smell traveled far and wide. So what's a farmer's favorite mythical creature? I heard it was a unicorn. You know why the guitar had no friends? They were just stringing them along. What's an animal's favorite vegetable? I heard it was zucchini. How does an actor on drugs perform? Well, they call it method acting. Ugh, fuck math. What's a Model T's favorite drug? I heard it was crank. How does a camera lens communicate with other camera lenses on the internet? I heard it was through Zoom calls. How does the airplane talk to other airplanes on the internet? I heard it was through Skype. Skype's the limit. What do you call it when you add wings and a propeller to hurt? They call it an aeroplane. You know why pigs are great at doing comedic roasts? They always go ham. What do you call a pig who likes to trick people? A bacon artist. What's Pavement's favorite musical instrument? I heard it was a guitar. Oh, autistic? I thought you said acoustic. What's a fit thrower's favorite part about the guitar? I heard it was the whammy bar. What's a guitar's favorite kind of cheese? I heard it was string cheese. Hey, do you like art? Is your name Lisa? Because I turn you into the Mona Lisa. Have you moaned my name, Lisa? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's not appropriate. What happened when the fishing pole got lonely? It hired a hooker. You know what you call a professional fisherman? A masturbator. What happened when the Model T got caught masturbating? The car said, do you mind? I'm cranking it over here. What do you call it when an alcoholic boxer drinks too much? Well, I call it hitting the bottle. What's a spoon's favorite kind of alcohol? I heard it was whiskey. What's a locksmith's favorite kind of alcohol? Whiskey. What do haunted houses like to drink? I heard it was distilled spirits. Or in this case, disturbed spirits. Oh, jeez. Like Zoing Scoop! <laughs> Well, I can only go really drunk. <laughs> you know you're drunk and stoned when you're just like, Holy shit, is my dog talking to me? <laughs> this is some good shit, dude. <laughs> did you hear about the Looney Tunes character who did a remake to a Cradle of Filth song? They called it Her Ghost in the Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, that's some good metal. I say, I say. So what's a germaphobe's least favorite heavy metal band? I heard it was Cradle of Filth. Wow, two shitty jokes about one of your favorite bands. How original, Cobra. What's a mentally insane locomotive's favorite Ozzy Osbourne song? I heard it was Crazy Train. I like trains. <laughs> People are always telling me, that guy is super autistic. And I'm like, cool, am I like a superhero? Like, what's my superpower, man? Like, am I awesomely good with numbers and shit? So what do you call a crazy fruit? Plum Loco. What's cancel culture's favorite fruit? I heard it was a banana. What do you call a vegetable that's being difficult? Cucumbersome. What's a locksmith's favorite fruit? Kiwi. Part two is next. Welcome to the uh, Cobra comedy album stand up. We're doing parody songs and a little bit of stand up. Like, what's the deal with hospital rooms? Have you seen this? Have you seen this lately? Oh, it's ridiculous.
pre-pandemic, they were bad. But during the pandemic, fuck out of here with that. You walk into the hospital room, people are coughing everywhere and dying and sick and miserable. Some dude's got his arm in a bucket of ice. Some dude's holding his goddamn spleen. Like hospital waiting rooms, am I right? Some dude got shot in the leg and he's just sitting there going, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And then all around you, all you hear is... <coughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here. Like, good lordy. That would have to be a germaphobe's worst kind of hell, YouTube. You might be from Wyoming if your pickup truck has more lift than a 65-year-old woman with fake tits. You might be from Wyoming if you met your future ex-wife at the rodeo. Yeah. You might be from Wyoming if you need a tetanus shot to drive your pickup truck. You might be from Wyoming if you have more dogs, guns, and trucks than you do exes. You might be from Wyoming if you've ever gone camping and almost pissed on a rattlesnake. That'd scare the piss out of you real quick, wouldn't it? No, oh, fuck me. So there was a horse who became a locksmith. Yeah, they called their business Horse Locks and Keys. There were three cowboys sitting around the campfire all having a macho manly testosterone pissing contest of who is the toughest cowboy in these parts? You know how that goes. First cowboy says, Man, I rode a bull with no saddle and I lasted longer than eight seconds and then I hogtied his ass. I'm the toughest motherfucker in these parts. Well, second cowboy says, that ain't shit. I got bit by a rattlesnake, chopped off its head, drank the blood, and drank the venom, and I'm still around. I'm the toughest motherfucker there ever was. Well, now, the third cowboy is just sitting there stirring the fire with his dick going, ain't that some shit. Now, Cletus and Earl are sitting on Cletus's porch. Earl sees Cletus's bloodhound licking its crotch. Earl says, I wish I could do that. Cletus says, I wouldn't try. And that dog will bite your goddamn face off. Cletus gets his dick tattooed to look like an ear of corn when his dick gets hard. And uh, people are going, why'd you do that? He said, just wait. He goes on to Farmer Jenkins' farm. And, uh, well, Miss Daisy Jenkins is about 21 and as dumb as a box of rocks, country bumpkin daughter comes a-walking through the cornfield, and, uh, here comes Cletus with his corn cock. He pops a couple of Viagra and he waits. Daisy starts fucking that corn, fucking it real good. Well, about nine months later, she's pregnant, and her daddy come walking out with his 12-gauge. 12-gauge shotgun going. Who the fuck got you pregnant because he was fixing to have a shotgun wedding? To which Miss Daisy replied, uh, the corn did it. Because, you know, country girls make do. You might be single and from Wyoming if the only blowjob you get is from the local wind. Like, should I be going up to Mother Nature and paying her like, yo, okay, your girl over there, the of age girl, yeah. Man, she knows how to work it, man. She gives a really good blowjob, I tell you what. People are like, what's Wyoming like? And we're like, well, we occasionally get tornadoes, and we also have rattlesnakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, tornadoes? That's like some Wizard of Oz type shit. Like, Toto, I don't think we're in Casper anymore. It's Kansas, you asshole. You might be from Wyoming if you own more horses than you have exes. Yeah, I do appreciate you all listening to this comedy album. This next uh, bit is called the uh, Karma's a Bitch, Conky Cowboy. Alright, so this is Cowboy, right? He thinks he's so cool, he's macho tough guy, you know. Just cockier than shit. And, uh... He decides to get a big lunch before going to ride in the rodeo. Well, he fills up his plate with Rocky Mountain oysters, all kinds of fixings, protein, burgers, 
And then when he gets done eating all that stuff, he walks up to the meanest bull in the entire goddamn lot and makes fun of him. Says, guess what? Says, I ate your balls. What are you going to do about it? Sitting there taunting the Rocky Mountain oysters in front of him like that. Well, come time to ride the rodeo, they're like, he thinks he's such a cool dude, right? Well, guess what? He forgot to wear his cup. And uh, I tell you what, that cocky cowboy, he gets on top of that bull, starts riding it. What about fucking eight seconds later, the bull bucks him off and smashes his testicles. You know, the moral of the story is, don't be a cocky asshole, and uh, karma's a bitch. Which, if you have to wear a cup so bulls do not smash your testicles, you might be from Wyoming. So what's a deer's favorite professional skateboarder? Well, I heard it was Bucky Lassick. You know why the deer went to the bank? So they could make the big bucks. What's a piece of paper's least favorite dinosaur? I heard it was a pterodactyl. What's a kettle's favorite classic car? I heard it was a Model T. What's an alcoholic swimmer's favorite game? Liverpool Rummy. You know why the pepper had to go to uh, anger management? It had a hot temper. What's Quasimodo's favorite restaurant? I heard it was Taco Bell. I kind of tell if people are, you know are smoking pot and are drinking alcohol. I found these Taco Bell wrappings in your trash can. Those aren't mine. I was holding it for a friend. Don't lie to me. No, seriously, have you tried their toasted sugar chalupa? Oh, nacho cheese, Doritos, Locos, Tacos. I swear, like, Taco Bell was made for stoners, man. But I, I feel so bad for people who cannot eat it. You know what I'm saying? Those people who eat Taco Bell and get diarrhea. Like, four minutes later, they're just, they're in the bathroom, you know, singing a toot and a poop symphony up in there, dude. Well, I propose a solution. We should invent a car that powers itself on human fecal matter and farts. We could call it the all-new Ford Fecal. And if we had Sam Elliott do the voice of selling it, it would be glorious. The all-new Ford Fecal. Are you tired of shitty gas prices? This car is not only eco-friendly, but also fecal-friendly. With the all-new Ford Fecal, tell that piece of shit laying on the horn behind you to fuck off. By pressing this button, all the poop smell from your car's engine will release into the person behind you. Grab a Ford Fecal. Are you tired of shitty gas prices and shitty drivers? Grab a Ford Fecal. Or maybe a Dodge Duty. A Chevy Shitter. A Toyota Turd. The Toyota Turd just looks like a giant Prius with a huge ass on the end. Like, yeah, they're trying way too hard. If two poops gave you, like, 200 miles to the poop, think about it. That'd be pretty uh, eco-friendly and also fecal-friendly, too. Every fart got you, like, 50 miles to the gallon. Oh, you know what kills me about that? You always get these uh, these car guys, you know, these car people. They're like, Fords are pieces of shit. And then the, the Ford guy goes, or gal, whoever goes, no, oh, your brand sucks. And it's just like, well, now they can all drive on shit, so what of it? Fecal, eco-friendly cars. If you think that sounds crazy, have you heard of this thing called Spotted Dick? That's a silly name for an English dessert. It honestly sounds like something you don't want to catch. Like, put a rubber on so you don't get sporty dick. Oi, that dirty minch, did you hear that? Why? She gave me my sporty dick. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, she gave me old Hogwarts if you catch my drift. Okay, that was too far with it. Like, oi, she gave your mate sporty dick. Bloody fucking hell. That wanker scab's gonna have a hell of a time with that, he is. Yeah, no chick will wanna fuck him after that. Oh, that is one nasty, nasty minch. You wanna take more than a cup of tea to fucking fix this one? Speaking of Hogwarts, you might wanna use some magic to get rid of that shit, mate, cause that really fucking smites. You tell that nasty cunt to show up her arse, and then that's all you can do about it at this point, mate. Oh, bloody hell, he's got sporty dick. He's gonna take his fucking Ford Fecal.
Oh, you bloody you are killing me. He got the new Ford vehicle. Oi, he did. He did. He poops in the bag every night and saves it. Sticks it in his fucking gas tank, he does. He pretty much said, fuck you to shitty gas prices. Yeah, he got tired of the pollution in our society, turning the weather to absolute dog shit, so he said, fuck it. He got a Ford vehicle. I'll take his Ford vehicle to the doctor and figure out what he can do about his sporty dick. That's rough shit, mate. Do you want to be a snobby piece of shit and act like you're better than everyone else because you drive a clean, burning car? Grab a Ford Fecal, you snobby piece of shit. Like, what's the deal with those kinds of people, right, YouTube? Not all of them are like that. Not all of them are like that. But these these douchebags who drive smart cars that are, like, eco-friendly and then you got this, like, I'm better than you attitude about it, you know? Like, okay, good for you, you liberal douche with your man bun. You drive a fucking Prius and bitch about microaggression. And P.S., they call it microaggression because you need a fucking microscope to see it. And, like, what's the deal with hipsters? Have you seen these douche rockets? Like, we're going to wear it unironically because we don't like it. How about you just, you know what, I like the way this looks. Why are you going to make it about some bullshit political movement, you know? Like, what? Oh, we would never be caught wearing this because that's why it's called being ironic. Yeah, unironically isn't even a fucking word, you dumb shit. Which sure ironic is the pronunciation of that? Because if it was unironic, then it wouldn't be ironic. It isn't ironic how moronic these people are. Fucking god damn it, dude. Like reverse sexism, what the fuck's up with that? Then it wouldn't be sexist, you fucking moron. If you accuse a woman of nagging, you're a sexist asshole. Accuse a man of mansplaining, he gets told to suck it up and check his privilege. Yes, it's all about the pursuit of gender equality. Everyone complains about something, so how about we stop complaining about people complaining? And here I am complaining about other people who complain about other people complaining. That really fucking fucks you on that, doesn't it? You might be from Wyoming, yes? You ever tried to buy a gun drunk from Walmart off a local brew? Disclaimer, do not buy guns drunk. You might be from Wyoming, yes? You like to uh, drink beer and shoot guns, but not necessarily in that order. Cheers, you guys have been great, gals. They thems. I don't care as long as you ain't a sick fuck. <coughs> fuck sickos. <coughs> Yo. This is a uh, rum haven. It made with real coconut water. It is a delicious rum. And when you mix it with the Mountain Dew, you get uh, what they call Coca Dew, which is Mountain Dew and uh, rum haven coconut water. It's a delicious little drink combo for 21 and up. Hold up. Oh, that sound. That is a beautiful sound, isn't it? Cheers. It's after 5 o'clock. Look, 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 look. You might be from Wyoming if you try to turn rattlesnakes into lassos. Hey, clear this. Yeah, oh, what's that? Holy shit, that is a big ass rattlesnake. Let's pick it up and turn it into a lasso. Hee <laughs> Snake's like, I want to bite these motherfuckers. Alright. There's a rum. You put the Mountain Dew in the coconut and you mix it all up. Not a sponsor. King Cobra Comedy album. Yeah. Whoever fucking makes this goddamn rum haven coconut water, coconut rum is seriously okay. That shit is so smooth. You mix it with Mountain Dew, and it's like now nah, we're cooking. I tell you what, the other day I asked my wife for a blowjob. You know what she did? Huh, she blew on me and told me to get a job. I tell you what, 
I tell you what, my wife said I look sexy with the six pack. So you know what I did? I got a six pack of Bud Light, huh? I tell you what. I tell you what, the other day I asked my wife if I could titty fuck you. She said, you want a boob job? Go see a plastic surgeon, huh? I tell you what. The other day I asked my wife for a piece of ass. You know what she said? I don't think they sell donkey sticks at Walmart. You fucking asshole. Uh, I tell you what. I tell you what. The other day I asked my wife for some pussy. You know what she said? You want some pussy? Go adopt a cat from the animal shelter. I tell you what. <laughs> Liquor? I hardly knew her. Yeah, so the other day I'm at the grocery store. I see this chick coming out and I said, Nice cans. And she looked at me and said, Excuse me? I said, Honey. I see you came out of the liquor store. I was complimenting your taste in beer. Oh, jeez. That got a little dicey there for a second. Like the other day, I was on the bus, minding my own business, you know? I had my legs spread, so my balls weren't constricted between my, my fucking legs over here. And this chick comes walking in, and she says, Excuse me, excuse me, you need to quit manspreading. I said, Honey, my eyes are up here. You want to see my balls? Can I take you out for a bite to eat? And she called me a fucking pig. So, you know, I said to her, how would it feel if I came on the bus and you were wearing a really low-cut T-shirt, just sitting comfortably so you weren't constricting your tits between your fucking arms, and I told you to quit slut spreading. And, uh, you know, you call me a fucking pig anyways. And she flipped me off. What do you do? And then when she opened her fucking legs, because, uh, you know... It was a hot day that day in the bus. I was like, holy shit. No wonder why this broad's cranky. She hadn't been laid in a hot minute. God damn. <sighs> I thought Sean's fart smelled bad. Holy shit. Like, golly. She opened her legs to sit comfortably on the bus. And even the crypt keeper was like, nope, I'm out, dog. You are not paying me enough for this shit. Like, what's the deal with public restrooms? Have you seen this? Yeah, that's always fun. You're taking a shit, trying to, you know, like, protect your shit. Because the fucking cracks between the bathroom stalls, you can see people and what they're doing in there. Like, we can see you touching yourself. Like, yeah, you're creepy. You know, don't be doing that shit in public anyway. Like, dog, if you're gonna if you're going to whack one off, do it at home. In the comfort of your own bathroom. Oh, thank you. No, it's weird, because it's like, you run out of toilet paper, and you got to ask the asshole next to you. Hey, Mac. Yeah? You got any shit ticket? That's always fun. wonder how the coronavirus spreads so fucking quickly. Everyone's throwing a fit about the toilet paper. It's like, could you imagine? Oh, look at that. The toilet stopped working, and you ran out of toilet paper, and if you try to flush that song, I bet you're going to get poo-poo all over the floor. Like, nope. One person who's cleaning that up going, they do not pay me enough for this shit. Like, get this, the, the bathroom's just out of order. Don't, don't go in there. Like, I don't want to deal with it. All right, all right, all right. You ever have to clean the women's restroom and empty out the special trash next to the toilet? It's got the bloody tampons in it. Now, I'm not here to judge, but could you imagine for one second if uh, they had a condom dispenser in the men's bathroom? And uh, the only requirement was for you to jack off in that condom and then sling it into a little trash can next to the men's restroom. I guarantee goddamn T you, you would never see a woman being forced to clean up that trash can. Now, I'm not here to judge. I'm just being a smartass. What kind of cobra chews tobacco? I heard it was a spitting cobra. That cobra also likes to spit rhymes, man. Yeah. What do the surfers say when they chew tobacco? Chaw, bro. Why did the Model T take a nap? It was cranky. Why did the church bell go to the special ed? It was a real dingling. Why did the church bell go to the mechanic? Well, its car got dinged up. Why did the of age church bell get cut off from sex from his of age girlfriend? Because she said you better put a ring on it, mister. What's a church bell's favorite part of the egg? I heard it was the yolk. You know what the old bell ringer said to the new bell ringer? Let me show you the ropes. You know why the church bells had a promiscuous lifestyle? Well, they were real swingers.
getting their ding dong suck those dirty church bells. Circling back to that bathroom shit, nah, man. Dude, cleaning that up, so like he's putting in the, he or she would be putting in the two weeks notice. So like, fuck this shit. I'm sick of this shit. You ain't paying enough me enough for this shit. No, 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 no. At some point, you'd have to ask yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm on clogging one restroom while emptying out a trash can full of bloody tampons in another. At some point, you have to ask yourself, am I a sanitation worker or a store worker? I'll tell you what, you know why the period punctuates the end of a sentence? Huh, because when she's on hers, end of discussion. I'll tell you what. You know what the butt said to the toilet? Hey, chill out, I was just giving you shit. I'd rather be a jack-off than a jackass, I'll tell you. I'd rather be a smart-ass than a dumb-ass. Yeah, well, I'd rather masturbate than procrastinate, at least to get something out of it. What kind of Brad likes to have sex? I heard it was Pumper Nickel. Pumper full of cum and give her a nickel. You know, I got a new name for the Confederate flag. They should call it the uh, Incest Pride flag. Golly, that wasn't nice, Mr. Saunders. No, neither was his farm, but... <sighs> there we go. You know, that what's a hillbilly's favorite kind of sandwich bread? Well, I'll tell you what, I heard it was inbred. <laughs> like, what's the deal with expensive gas prices? You believe this shit? Four or five, six bucks a gallon? People in Los Angeles are going, fuck you, we're paying ten dollars up here. Ridiculous. Yeah, expensive gas prices. I got your expensive gas right here. Four dollars a gallon, fuck off with it. Like, it's getting more expensive to pollute the environment, yeah. I feel like Fred Flintstone with these gas prices. Dino, you know, Dino being gas prices and you being like, no, Dino, no, Dino, Dino, no, down, Dino. <laughs> what if it was the Flintstoners? Then he'd, then he'd be saying yabba dabba doobie. You just hear Barney hating it like, <laughs> this is some good shit, Fred. <laughs> Barney, that's my weed. Barney was always a dick to Fred, like stealing his cereal. All he had to do was ask, hey, honey, neighbor, you got, you got any of them, uh, them Cocoa Pebbles? You know, I'm joking for. <laughs> like, what's the deal with 90s cereal commercials? We're gonna teach kids from the 1990s how to steal them. Like, if you want something, just take it. That's, you know. And the mascots all look like they're on drugs. I'm just sitting here, like, yeah, Cookie Monster, who are you bullshitting me? Cookie Monster, nom 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 nom. Cookie Monster have sugar addiction. Nom 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 nom. For all we know, Elmo could be doing coke, you know. That'd be horrible, wouldn't it? I'm also looking a little off the powder. <laughs> you wanna take on me? I wanna do it, bitch, I fucking do you. One, one bad voice impression. Ah, oh, ah, oh, two, two bad voice impressions. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Mm, Freaking switch. Come with the frog, your arm is picking it like the taste of your bacon. Oh, Kimmy, that's so bad. Burr. I'll give you a frog in your throat. Burr. Oh, Kimmy, behave. <laughs> no offense to anyone, but it's like trying to picture Mickey Mouse with a fucking lightsaber. It's just, it's weird. Listen, hey, you little shit. Pluto, get the fuck in here, goddammit. I'm so sick of this crap. Pluto, did you fucking crap on the floor? How many fucking times? Is he sitting there using the force to smack Pluto's nose with a newspaper? The rolled up newspaper? I swear to fucking God, Pluto, you crap on the floor one more fucking time. And you're gonna get fucking force choked. So suck at this crap. Oh. Like, damn, Mickey Mouse, calm the fuck down. I think you made your point. Speaking of housebreaking a dog, could you try to imagine housebreaking Clifford? Hi, I'm Emily, and this is my big red dog, Clifford. No, it's ridiculous. If that dog pisses, your whole carpet's fucked. Screwed. You have to change the carpet. Bastard poops out of the crap big enough to be your couch. Like, and you know, how the fuck does that dog eat? You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck does that dog eat? 
Like, oh, are you guys moving? No, this is just a moving van full of dog food. This is just enough to uh, barely fill up his bowl. It literally costs like almost 20 of these now for Clifford to eat. But, you know, <laughs> it keeps Emily safe, you know. Yeah. But could you fucking imagine if this dog pissed on you or tried to hump your fucking leg? Are you fucking kidding me, you two? If Clifford the Big Red Dog started humping your leg, your whole body would be crushed. Your leg wouldn't be in a fucking cash. You'd just be, you'd have no bones. It is ridiculous. Could you imagine, though? Could you imagine? That's not a red rocket. That's a red missile. No, it's ridiculous, you two. Like, down, Clifford! Is it a giant person made lake? No, that's Clifford's drinking dish. Holy shit, man. I like Walmart. They're convenient. I'm not trying to sound like a stereotypical American, but uh, where else can you get dog food, tampons, a gun, some food, and some beer, and some cigarettes, and some clothing all in one location? It's very convenient. You're sitting there having that conversation with your uh, wife, and she says, Honey, our daughter is having that time of the month again, and the boys are chasing after her. Well, shit. And I just wrecked my new goddamn shirt. Uh, where are the dog food? We need some basic groceries. After all this, man, I'm going to get smoking a beer. Hold on a second. Where can I get a gun? So a new shirt, some groceries, some dog food, some pads, and some bullets. Uh, holy shit, I know. Yeah, it's all in one location. Yeah. You ever see some of the people at Walmart? Now, I'm not one to judge people based off their looks, believe me. The one guy that wears a dog collar is going to judge everyone else that fuck off with that shit. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> You got a trailer trash mom with her Karen haircut, wearing some yoga pants that say sassy written across her ass, looking like they're about to tear it any goddamn given minute. And she got a belly shirt on that says America on it. And she's sitting there with her idiot husband and their idiot kids, and by God, if you piss her or anyone off, the manager will hear about it. Ridiculous. Could you imagine being a nice lady named Karen and all of a sudden this internet thing comes up like, oh, you're such a Chad, you're such a Karen, you're such a, shut the fuck up. And what's the deal with flying? Have you seen this? Like, airport security is the worst, dude. You got a miniature toenail clipper on you that you forgot to uh, take out of your carry-on case. And they're pinning you to the ground like, take them down, terrorists. It's an exaggeration, of course, but, you know. Some pervert has to look at your naked body in an x-ray machine. Make sure you don't got any bombs. I saw a tube with toothpaste. Get him, he's got a bottle of Crest. TSA regulations are stating to the court at this airport, say, your bottle of toothpaste is too big, we're going to have to confiscate that. Well, if you're packing a bottle of toothpaste that's too goddamn big and a miniature toenail clipper, they're really going to search your bags then. Like, okay, what are you trying to hide, Mr. or Ms.? And then you get to your fucking seat, and you gotta wait for them to call your age range. Now boarding passengers 18 through 45, please. Ding! Like it's passenger bingo. You believe this shit? You might be from Wyoming if you have two gun racks on your pickup truck. Like, how the hell did you get the Marlboro, Copenhagen, Bud Light, Budweiser gun racks? God damn. You might be from Wyoming if you like to get your pickup truck muddy. You call yourself a redneck, but you've never worked a day in your life on a ranch. Yeah, you might be from Wyoming if when you get your truck all muddy, then you go to the beacon and get blackout drunk and then try to fuck your farmer neighbor's sheep. You might be from Wyoming, you know, where the cowboys go a-sneaking. Kind of hard to say you're sneaking when it says it on the goddamn sign. Now, I'm just busting balls. The Beacon is a lovely bar to go to for a beer. However, it's a cowboy bar. You know how that goes, folks? 
Yeah, so a goth like me walking into the cowboy bar, I get a lot of strange looks. They look at me and go, hey, Cletus. <laughs> yeah, Earl. What the hell is that thing supposed to be? Oh, that's just King Cobra JFS. He's one of them goth hippie types. Did you hear about the waitress who worked at IHOP? Well, she had one leg. Her name was Eileen Peggy. Well, then you get on the goddamn airplane. You get your, sh your shit in the overhead. That's always fun, trying to find an open compartment. You gotta stand awkwardly over someone, shoving your crotch in their face. It's like, excuse me, sorry. Just gotta get my stuff in the overhead. It'd be like the worst time to rip ass, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're sitting there trying to get your storage compartment situation settled, you know? No, like, that'd be the worst, right? You got some asshole sitting in the seat next to you, like, and you're sitting there stuffing it in, in the compartment. Like, excuse me, sorry, oh. Oh, God damn it, I'm so sorry. Like, oh, jeez. Sorry, I had Taco Bell at the airport. Oh, God. How the fuck I got through with <laughs> TSA with that weapons grade explosive in my stomach? Holy shit. Ugh. You don't even know the guy or the person sitting next to you, and the first thing they see is, oh, great, it's going to be a long flight. Meanwhile, there's a single parent with her kid sitting behind you, and you don't even see until the bastard starts kicking your goddamn seats. The second you turn around, and they're like, excuse me, ma'am, could you tell your kid to please stop kicking my seat? It's, oh, I know you didn't just tell me how to raise my kid. And it's like, hey, 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 look, 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 look. I'm on a layover flight. And she goes, well, so am I. Like, okay, you, you get the gist here. Please. No, you do not tell me how to raise my kid. And it's just like, oh, for Pete's sake. And the plane hasn't taken off yet, and you already need a goddamn drink. But the stewardess says, our shooters are like five bucks a shooter, and you're only allowed to have two per passenger. Are you kidding me? But the asshole kicking your seat behind you is allowed to get hopped up on Red Bull and sugar and animal crackers and salty peanuts, and no one says a freaking word. Kicking your goddamn seat and throwing peanuts at you, they bounce off your freaking head, land on the floor in front of you, and because you ordered peanuts a minute ago, the stewardess thinks that you're the one doing it, and they just give you this nasty look, and it's like, hey, 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 it's the bastard behind me, man, he won't quit kicking my goddamn seat, goddamn seat and throwing peanuts at me, then the stewardess leans over and says, Ma'am, and what is she doing? He, she, they, them, who gives a fuck about the gender? Like, the parent, in this case, is on their phone answering important emails and business calls. And it's like, huh? The stewardess would like to ask you to please tell your kid to leave this nice man in front of you alone. Quit throwing penis at him. Okay? It's rude. Meanwhile, Junior's sitting there going, I want a pony! I want a pony! I want to fight in outer space! I want to be invisible. I want to fly like Superman. I want a pony. You're not even an hour into your flight, and you're like, some part of you just goes, it's going to be all right. Just get to the second half of the layover flights. And it's like, okay, could you do something? You just, people are looking at, now you're not the only one getting annoyed by that person. Like, you don't want to be that one guy that stares at someone when their kid's acting out like, do something about it. And they look at you like, you try being a parent. Because that's just rude as shit, right? You're sitting there going, and Captain Hindsight says, should have put one on, dumbass. What? Captain Hindsight condoms. Should have put one on, dumbass. You take your kid to Walmart to buy some goddamn groceries, and of course they want a toy, they want candy, they want everything in the store. And by the time you get done telling them no several times, they're sitting there throwing a fit in aisle four checkout lane like it's an exorcist. I want chocolates. At one point, they try to make their head spin around in a full circle, and it doesn't work. So they're sitting there looking like they're having a seizure instead. And no offense to anyone with uh, epilepsy. Rest in peace, uh, Alex Anderson. And when people go shopping, they will talk to themselves. Like, oh, what do I need again? Shit. I think I need milk and eggs. Pull out their smartphone, 
Oh yeah, I made a note about this in the notes app. Sweet. Okay, now I know what I need. Cool. Go to the aisle. Do I want this milk or do I want that milk? That milk's tastier, but that milk's on sale. <sighs> and they can't think because by some magic of some sort, your kid ends up being the loudest asshole in the entire freaking store. It's ridiculous. Clean up on checkout aisle four. We have a toddler throwing a fit for some chocolate and a really depressed, pissed off parent. Price check. Should have put a condom on. Chick. Now, when that kind of shit happens, you know, don't stare at them. It's rude as shit. Like, if they're not doing, clearly not doing anything about it, then say something about it, you know. Or don't. It's none of your damn business. But you don't know the situation, you know. You really don't. But back to the flight, you're on this plane for not even an hour, you've had peanuts thrown at you, and Junior behind you is getting hopped up on Red Bull and root beer and whatever else, you know, because they're thirsty, they're hungry, they want everything. And the only peace and quiet you get is when the kid goes, Mommy, I have to use the bathroom. So, of course, their mom takes them to safely use the potty, and you're just like, oh, finally. Holy crap, they stopped kicking my seat. And as soon as the kid gets back, they're right down to shoving M&Ms and animal crackers down their goddamn throat. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. When you're sitting there watching what this kid's eating on the plane, you're like, no wonder childhood obesity is a problem in our country. I know some of, some of us can't help it, and there ain't nothing wrong with that, but goddamn. And then you don't want to say nothing because, oh, yeah, I know you didn't just tell me what to feed my kid. It's like, well... Don't get me started on that crap. Okay, so the Food and Drug Administration is more concerned about how much nicotine we have on our goddamn cigarettes. Oh, but the hormones that are causing little Sally to hit puberty at the age of 8 and get her first pair of boobs before she's not even 16. That's a little creepy and weird. And then on top of that, our society is forcing these people to take puberty blockers. But don't even get me started on that. So, like, how the fuck does that work? Instead of worrying about the side effects in our prescription drugs, it's we're going to pick on the smokers. You filthy smokers. Yeah. And, like, even if you don't smoke, everyone's got a vice. Everything people do, they do it for a reason. Do you not look at your iPad because you're bored or you're... You know, you want something to do with your hands? Do you not sit there and scroll through your phone like a fucking zombie, checking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok? Like, what's Big Ben the Clock Tower's favorite social media app? I heard it was TikTok. And iPhones can cause cancer too, so how about them apples? That's the problem with people anymore. They got their heads up their asses or their faces glued to their phone screens, you know? It's ridiculous, man. But going back to the flight, Captain says, We apologize, but uh, the regular screening for Airbud 4 has been taken off. The DVD's broken, so instead we're going to be watching Frozen. And you're just sitting there like, oh, and you already finished your two drink limit, and you're just like, son. At some point, when it's in the chorus of Let It Go, you think for one split fucking second, just for a split fucking second, who cares if the plane goes down? I hate this fucking movie. What the fuck is Olaf? Last time I heard us talk at Snowman, it was Frosty, asshole. It's corn comp pipe and fuck off. You're like, but then you're like, you know what? You're like, you're a good person, so you're like, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, I don't want the plane to go down, no, no, I will get through this, I will get fucking through this. You get to the end of your flight, you survived, you're covered in peanuts, like, I'm glad the plane made it safely, these people probably got people that care about them, I get that. Jesus Christ, he's a cunt, I can't believe this crap. God, we have a two hour delay till your next flight. Well, I know where I'm going. I hear the airport bar calling my name, calling my name. You get to the airport bar, you slam a couple of drinks, you jam some Ozzy Osbourne to get that frozen crap out of your head, and then you get back on the plane, you're feeling good, you take a nap, and when you wake up in the middle of the flight, guess who's sitting in front of you, that same asshole kid that was throwing peanuts on you, 
the first time, and you're just like, son of a bitch! So you get your two-drink limit here, but just like on the last goddamn plane, you know the stewardess is going to be half-cocked when uh, <laughs> she leaves that cockpit, you know. Like, yeah, two-drink limit. Shit. You try bugging the asshole next to you, you're just like, hey, man, I'll give you 20 bucks if you buy me two little shooters of Jack Daniels. And uh, some Coca-Cola. And he's looking at you like, nah, man. Like, you're the one with the problem. This sick bastard is sitting there putting his goddamn feet, his bare feet, on the armrest of someone else's chair in front of him. And the person in front of him is going, ew, 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 ew. And then, of course, he's just like, hey, man, could you get your feet off my armrest? That's gross. He turns around to say it to the guy next to you. And the guy next to you is like, sir, sir. Where's your mask? And you're like, you, you, you of all people are, are gonna mask shame someone. on oh, fucking believable. Yeah, I know. Stupid people piss me off, but I tell you what, I hate sick fucks more than I hate stupid fuckers. And uh, you know, that's my time. Appreciate you listening to this uh, comedy bit. The uh, airplane skit was just a uh, scenario. Of what if you know, like overly drastic, like. You know what I'm saying? I might do some more stand-up bits for the rest of the album. We'll see how that goes. Why did the horse go to the goddamn doctor? Well, the horse had hay fever. Why was Casper the friendly ghost sad? His girlfriend ghosted him. Why was the piece of shit sad? Well, he got dumped by his girlfriend. Oh god, that was a really shitty joke. There were four zombies eating a clown. One looked at the other three and says, Does this taste funny to you? How does the fish cut down a tree with a seesaw? I heard saw sharks. I Yeah, that's how uh, that's how fish do it, man. They use saw sharks that carry seesaws. There were saw sharks that carry seesaws. That's how fish chop down trees, man. What kind of fish likes to go fencing? I heard it was swordfish. What's a sailfish's favorite song? I heard it was "Come Sail Away with Me." How do you make a skeleton and laugh? Tickle its funny bone. What did the skeleton say when it boarded the cruise ship? Bon voyage. What did the skeleton chef say upon serving the food? Bon appetit. What's the skeleton's favorite musical instrument? I heard it was a trombone. What happened when the skeleton took a Viagra? He got a boner. What happened to the zombie when he took a Viagra? He got a stiff one. Uh. What did the skeleton order when it, when they went to the bar? Beer and a mop. What's the skeleton's favorite food? Barbecue ribs. What's the skeleton's favorite band? I heard it was Spine Shank. What did the French skeleton say? Bone jaw. What's an emo scientist's favorite band? My Chemical Romance.